Now coming to the fifth bit, which is 2x minus 1 times of x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 times of x minus 1. On left hand side we have 2x minus 1 times of x minus 3. This can be written as 2x times of x minus 3 minus 1 times of x minus 3. On right hand side we have x plus 5 times of x minus 1. This can be written as x times of x minus 1 plus 5 times of x minus 1. 2x times of x is 2x square and 2x times of minus 3 is minus 6x. This becomes minus x and minus 1 times of minus 3 is plus 3. This is equal to x times of x is x square x times of minus 1 is minus x, 5 times of x is 5x and 5 times of minus 1 is minus 5. So this is 2x square minus 6x and minus x becomes minus 7x plus 3 is equal to x square minus x plus 5x is plus 4x and this is minus 5. So on left hand side we have 2x square minus 7x plus 3 and on transposing the terms of right hand side to the left hand side we get minus x square and minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. 2x square and minus x square is x square minus 7x minus 4x is minus 11x plus 3 plus 5 is Plus a. Now the equation obtained is x square minus 11x plus 8 is equal to 0. We know that the general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If we observe the equation obtained is x square minus 11x plus 8 is equal to 0. This is resembling the general form of the quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. We can conclude that the given equation which is 2x minus 1 times of x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 times of x minus 1 is a quadratic equation.